Okay, this is my beverage. I've got coax running out to the edge of the woods. <coughs> Got coax coming up to the box. It's got a little bit of water on it right now. But, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I've got a transformer in there that I wound. I've got a little weight on top of the box to temporarily keep it from blowing over. Got a ground rod for the ground connection. And here's the beverage. The beverage connects with a wire nut. And it's a beverage on the ground and it runs on out in the woods. This particular one is running away from Europe. Uh, I have it unterminated so that it uh, should be bi-directional. Should be receiving signals from the northeast as well as the southwest. I used it pretty much for all my receiving on 160 meters in uh, last weekend CQ WW uh, CW contest. Uh, heard the DX from Europe surprisingly well with the antenna laying on the ground. Here we are a little further down in the woods. You can see the wire just laying on the ground on top of the top of the down trees. I'm not sure if you can see it out there's a white paint bucket up on the t near the top of the ridge. Uh, moved that over there so I could see a little bit better the direction of the beverage when I was uh, back in the yard. There's the wire. Runs right past that white paint bucket. And it keeps on going on into the trees. Okay, I'm pretty much standing on the property line looking back toward the road. Okay, here's the end of the beverage. So if we walk around and we look back, we're pretty much looking in the direction of Europe. The beverage runs through the trees. I don't know if you can see the white paint bucket that kind of marks the location. 